My name is Samantha Vitya, and I am the Community Engagement Coordinator for the Natural History Museums of Los Angeles County. And today I'm joined by Florence Nishida, Master Gardener and co-founder of LA Green Grounds. Um, and today I'm really excited to learn a little bit more about you, Florence, and, and your story. So I was wondering if you can tell me briefly about your history in Los Angeles. You're taking a chance because you're talking to an older person. <laughs> so, so there's a long history. But uh, let me start by saying I'm extraordinarily fond of the Natural History Museum because I grew up in that neighborhood. I grew up only three blocks away from the museum. So as a child, that was my playground. And you're probably not aware, but at one time, all the museums in the city were free of charge. So that museum was the place to visit for everybody in that immediate neighborhood and in that community. I didn't really think about other people coming. It was my museum. And so when I got involved in the botany department and worked there in the herbarium and then uh, later on got involved in curating the collections, um, and eventually became a research associate there. Uh, it was always a joy to drive back into that neighborhood that I had moved from. Our family moved there in 1945, after we got out of the internment camps that the US government had put us into. And so try to visualize for me, a small child, I was about five and a half years old, uh, coming out of a place where I lived for three years, where everybody looked like me, they were all Japanese, and then coming to move to 37th Drive off, off of Exposition Boulevard in Normandy, and very few people looked like me, but we had uh, quite a United Nations on my street. And I'd, I'd love to know now in you know, today's world, how do you build community? I mean, my ideal would be for everybody living in LA to live in a village so that they have a sense of community wherever it is they live. I became a master gardener as soon as I retired from my day job, which at that time was People Magazine. And uh, I was a, I was a um, research librarian uh, there for about 20 years. and. I saw a little item in the LA Times about master gardeners. It was a tiny, it wasn't even a, an inch long. Uh, and that the master gardeners taught people in poor neighborhoods uh, how to grow vegetables. And I thought, wow, that sounds amazing. So uh, I, I cut that out and I made a file called retirement and I put it in that file. And that was the only thing in that file and then as soon as I retired, I applied to the Master Gardeners and I got in. I mean, it's a pretty competitive, but I got in. And, um, and I'm very glad that at that time, the whole Master Gardener program in LA County was focused on food and on serving under-resourced neighborhoods. So I, when I, and then I drove all over South LA looking for a place where I could I could start a class because I was part of an initial group of master gardeners that was um, that was requested to get involved in a new program called the Grow LA Victory Garden Classes, and the idea was to to form these class uh, uh, centers in different parts of LA. And so I, of course, picked South LA near the museum. And then I drove all over, up and down, everywhere, trying to find a good location. Um, and I needed an indoor classroom space. I needed, of course, outdoor ground space so people could plant. So my husband, Gordon, who's a curator, said, why don't you talk to the museum? And I was a research associate. So I wrote a proposal uh, and uh, they said, Good idea because at that time they were thinking, they were thinking ahead already for the new gardens, 
And so they said, well, we could, this could be a prototype for, we were interested in an edible garden. And so that's what we did. And uh, actually Gordon pickaxed the dirt under the boxes and we literally physically started the garden. But to go on now, when my first class, I met my first class, I looked at the faces and they did not look like the faces of my old neighborhood. Of course, the Natural History Museum draws from all parts of the city and down into Orange County. So there were people from pretty far away, but there were not enough people from the neighborhood. And that's when, then in the second class in the fall, I recruited some students and I said, listen, I, I want to start a group with this purpose. I want to start a group so that we can teach gardening where people actually live. <laughs> then I said, I, I thought about, okay, we need to actually make gardens so people can see them. And we named those events Diggins. And so we would we start we started with very few, all of my friends and my husband, you know, people like that. But gradually, as we started doing the diggings, they got so popular that uh, we didn't have any trouble once we posted an announcement and said, we're doing a dig in next month, sign up, you know, then we had no trouble getting 25, 30, you know, 40 people at an event. And the first ones we did, of course, were right off of MLK, Martin Luther King Boulevard. Um, and we did one at St. Mark's Church across the street from USC. And uh, because I, I really wanted to influence um, the capability of people to, to get food, to have better food than, than they could get. Back then, now there are more markets, but back then in, in uh, 2010, there were very few really good markets. Uh, Ralph's eventually came in. They closed up after about three years. Uh, there was a market off of Central and Adams that closed up. And so to have gr food growing at home, it doesn't address only the problem of food insecurity, but it also empowers people. It makes people feel there's something they themselves can do to help themselves. And so that's how you build community because these dig-ins were became so popular and i'm people were coming from all over the city and um all of those people from all over the city were involved in an event which was a very on hands teaching lesson they were all learning how to start a garden so even if they don't start a garden themselves i thought eventually when they have some space of their own when they get married or when they can get a place they can start their own gardens so the community and a dig in is fabulous to see people who never met until that day sitting like in a sewing circle on the ground weeding and talking about a variety of things is so uh has always inspired me so wall florence it has been really nice to take some time to get to know you a little bit more and hear about LA Green Grounds. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Um, so welcome. And where can folks find you? Where can folks find LA Green Grounds and support? They should go to uh, the internet and go to our website, which is www.lagreengrounds, all one word, dot org. And on our website, there's a get involved uh, column, and there you can sign up to volunteer if you like.